All right, in this episode of The Man Cave, I'm continuing my series on refreshing my DRZ400 SM. This would be part four, and in this episode, I am gonna be working on the rear of the bike, removing the rear shock, and servicing the swing arm. Now, in the previous episodes, I showed you guys how to disassemble the front of the bike. We totally rebuilt that uh, fork, um, got some fresh seals on there, put some new bushings in, changed the fork oil, and got it set up uh, just right. While we were there, we also replaced the steering bearings. Uh, you may want to check those uh, videos out if you missed them. But right now the front end is in tip-top shape and it's back on the bike and the bike is now back on a stand and ready to have uh, the rear serviced. So um, there are a number of uh, bushings, bearings and pivot points uh, towards the swing arm and linkage that you want to sort of inspect. Um, the bearings may be worn out or they may just need to be serviced and re-greased. Either way, uh, we need to fully remove that swing arm um, to get a full service done. So the bike is back up on a stand. I'm going to be removing uh, most of the bodywork, the seat, and just uh, getting it ready to, for removal of that swing arm. So the bike is out in the garage. Let's get to work. All right, we're back out in the garage. As you can see, the bike is back up on a stand. It's nice and solid, nice and stable and ready to work on. Most importantly, the rear wheel is uh, free and up off the ground. Now, in order for us to free the swing arm and get that rear shock out, um, first you have to remove uh, the bodywork, get that seat off, and you're also gonna have to remove your exhaust pipe. Now, if you're running an aftermarket system like this, uh, which is in sections, uh, remove from the end can all the way to the, uh, you know, the midsection of the header, and that'll give you enough room to work on that uh, rear shock. All right, now this is one of those parts that need to be replaced. It's just crumbling off. Same with that, uh, that chain guide, uh, lower chain guide. It's just sort of uh, seen better days. So these are some of the parts that I wanna replace. All right, what works for me is um, keeping lots of these little plastic bags and just using them to label the, uh, the screws and the bolts that, that come out. So this is uh, my seat and um, side panels. Now I just um, keep these all together nicely labeled in a little baggie and that way when it comes to reassembly I know exactly where these things go. All right now with most of this junk cleared away I'm ready to remove the rear wheel. This is uh, of course a single uh, nut on here. I pre-loosened it. This is a 13. So rear wheel is ready to come off. Knock that axle through. All right, with the rear wheel out of the way, uh, you're now free to work. Um, I hung up my rear brake. It's always a good idea to do that so that it's not hanging by the weight um, on the hose so that you don't stress out these fittings. Now, we uh, need to gain access to these dog bones right over here, and we're gonna loosen this 17. Now, I've pre-loosened this so that it's uh, easier to show you guys. All right, now you remove this pin and uh, move those dog bones out of the way and you now have access to your lower shock mount. All 
All right, now with the lower shock mount free, you can now focus on the upper shock mount. It's, uh, it's right in there. Uh, one side is a 12, the other side is a 14. Best reach with a long extension. All right. Now push that um, pin through. A screwdriver would be good. And now your shock can come free from the right side of the body. There you go. All right, now with the shock free, we're now gonna pull the swing arm. Of course, we have to undo the main pivot bolt right over here. Now this is torqued down pretty uh, hard. Uh, I'm gonna break out the impact uh, to help me out. All right, that's our nut. Um, there should be a little washer in there. Yep, there it is. Um, we'll get that out after we push this main um, pivot um, axle out. Right, and with that, your swing arm comes off in one whole piece. Now with the swing arm clear, you have one last piece of the linkage right over here. So one last bolt through these two dog bones and one through this main linkage. So these are, uh, these are 17s. Um, they're usually on pretty tight. Uh, you may have to use a cheater bar to uh, get these uh, nuts off. All right. That's one and one through here. Again, I've pre-loosened these so that it's easier to show you guys. Pull that pin. And you're done. All right, we're back in the workshop. It took a little bit of effort, but we've got the rear end of the bike pretty much stripped out and we've freed all of our main suspension components uh, for the rear suspension anyway. We've got our uh, swing arm, we've got our uh, little dog bones. We've got this uh, main part of the linkage. Not quite sure what the technical term for this is, but that's part of the linkage. Um, and you've got your shock absorber. Now, judging from the condition of all these parts, they're gonna need a very thorough cleaning. Uh, with a good solvent, uh, I'll soap them up. Uh, I'll try not to get uh, a lot of solvent or soap uh, into those bearings, just clean up uh, all the grease and grit on the outside. Um, and inspect everything, give, give everything a, a thorough inspection. Um, you know, all of these pivot points on here, uh, they've got thrust bearings, uh, needle roller bearings, some kind of bearings or bushing in them. So get into all of these uh, pivots and bearings, pull these pins out. Get your finger in there, feel those uh, needle roller bearings. Are they in good shape? Do you have any play? Check these pins. Uh, are there any sort of um, rusty spots or pitting on them? With any luck, uh, this is just really dirty and it won't need anything more than just a thorough cleaning and a uh, thorough repacking and regreasing of uh, all of those main pivot points. You'll wanna check the condition of these bearings here. Um, underneath, underneath that, would be a little pin that you get out. And inside there are a bunch of needle roller bearings. Uh, you know, check the condition with your finger, make sure they're rolling smoothly. Um, check the uh, pins for any rusting. Um, and if they're in good shape, you may just need to clean and uh, get them re-greased and reassemble. So like I said, I'll give everything a thorough clean, inspect all of those bearings and bushings. Uh, repack them with grease and in the next episode I'll show you how to put it all back together. I hope you guys learned something new right here on the Man Cave.